Hey guys, it's Rachel here. Um, I just wanted to give you guys an update. As you can tell, I'm a little sick. I'm under the weather. My sister has been sick for like a week, and I guess she has passed on her illness to me. Um, I sound a lot worse than I actually feel. Um, it's a, mostly just a lot of congestion in the head, and then evidently some a little touch of laryngitis. So it is what it is. Um, it's been a while since I've actually updated you guys on my weight. Um, Saturday, I think, was the last time I did that, and Saturday I was up 0.2, but that was after a huge release of 2.6. I was at 152.0. Um, Sunday, I was down 0.2 to 151.8. Um... <coughs> I think my numbering is wrong. No, I'm sorry. Saturday was when I was down 2.6. Sunday was, I was up 0.2. Monday, I was down 0.2. I was to 151.8. Um, then after my double on Monday, I was only up 0.2 yesterday. Um, today, I had a goose egg. I didn't change, which is okay because I was actually expecting to be up a lot more because I had a little weak moment last night. I wasn't feeling very good. I was just starting with the whole feeling sick, and uh, I did. We did this uh, thing. You may have them wherever you live called taste doves for whatever city you live in, and uh, the restaurant that I work in participated in one last night, and we served our three cheese macaroni and cheese. And our um, pineapple and raisin bread pudding with sweet tequila sauce. Needless to say, I had a little bit more of the bread pudding than I should have. Because I should have had none. And I had a lot. Not a lot. Just a, like four or five of the little servings that we were giving out. So, but I'm happy with the zero. That's fine. Um, tomorrow... Uh, yes, Tuesdays are usually when I take my measurements, which would have been yesterday. I decided, though, that um, since my last day to inject is tomorrow, tomorrow will be my LAW, I'm just going to go ahead and take my measurements tomorrow since it's the end of the round. And it's only two days different, so not that I think they'll be, like, drastically different anyway because I haven't lost, like, any weight again. I may have gone down like a pound. I'm looking at, at not even. Like I've been playing with the same one pound for the past week. So I don't know. I'm hoping maybe tomorrow to, to drop a little bit more for my LDW. So um, then I'll do my three days of the LCD on um, the HTG still in my system. And I will be starting P3 on. Monday. So I'm very excited for that. Um, I think it's just kind of like my mom made a video about it. Beth, um, I don't know if she made a video about it, but she talked about it on Facebook. This has just been such a, an exhausting round mentally. And I feel like I, you know, yeah, I, I don't get me wrong, I've lost a lot of weight, but not as much as I wanted to. You know, there's, there's certainly no way that I would was going to make the 25 pounds for the Rockstar Challenge. I don't think I'll even make 20 pounds. I think as of right now, at 152, I think that I've lost like 16 and a half pounds for this round, counting my loading weight. So, I mean, while that's good and while I've lost, you know, like 47 pounds since I started, I'm a little disappointed with this round. I mean, and it's easy. We're, it's so easy to be greedy with this diet. So, um, but I'm really, I'm looking forward to being in P3. My boyfriend's looking forward to me being in P3 because I told him I can eat more food, and different kinds of food, and I'm, I'm honestly, I'm really excited about getting to start exercising. So, um, I'm trying to think. I really want a bite of this, but I'm not going to eat in front of you guys on camera. These are the Honeycrisp apples. Somebody talked about this on Facebook, and I can't remember who, and if it was you, I'm sorry. 
but um, at the suggestion of whoever it was, I went and bought some Honeycrisp apples. They are the best stinking apples I've ever had in my life. And they look so tiny, but the core is really small, so you get a lot of fruit. They're so good. Um, what else? I never told you guys that I that I got my Tanita scale in, so it's it's laying in wait for P3 because I think I'm gonna switch scales, which is funny because <laughs> super squeaky voice. Um, my Wee scale and the Tanita scale both weigh me heavier than the um, Taylor scale that I've been using. At this point, I really don't care. However, um, that's about it. I think. Really not much to update on. I'm sick. I don't feel good. I'm in my PJs. Haven't really lost any weight. But I haven't been I haven't been doing great. That's another reason why I think I need to just move on to pee for you because I feel like I've been letting myself give in a temptation a lot more. And I thought I was a lot more strong than that, but with everything that's been going on in my life lately, strength has not been with me. But um about that, um, I just want to say thanks again to everybody. Uh, you know, yesterday I woke up and, you know, my heart is still broken. And it will be for a while, I'm sure. But um, one thing I noticed was that when I woke up, even though my heart was still sad, um, I had this very overwhelming sense of peace about everything. So. You know, I feel like at least the healing has started a little bit. And um, today I actually went to the animal shelter and looked around. Saw some kitty cats that caught my eye. And uh, I'm going to think about it for a few days and because uh, I don't want to rush into anything. But um, just to share, that's a little bit of my, of my personal life that I'll share with you guys. But HCG wise hasn't been very eventful unfortunately I was just thankful to not have gained more than a pound after my double on Monday to be honest I was like giddy like a schoolgirl about the whole situation so um tomorrow is my double day so I'm kind of glad that it'll be my LDW because I think if it would have been on Friday it wouldn't have been very fair in case that I was like retaining a lot of water so um we'll see how that goes but, um, just wanted to give you guys a quick update and let you know that I love you guys and I hope everybody's doing awesome. I'm surprised I made it through this voice without losing my voice all the way. It'll probably be gone tomorrow, which is funny because I have to work for like 11 hours, so we'll see how that goes. It could be a fun night, uh, but who knows. So, uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and, um, love you. Bye.